hello guys and welcome back so in this video we will be adding the ledge movement in which when the player move to the ledge okay we will stop the player right there okay we will not allow the player to walk off the ledge like this we will only allow the player to jump off the ledge using the space button like this okay and also there is one issue with our jump down parkour action which is for example if we jump down as you can see the player has movement okay so what we want right here is when the player is performing the jump down parkour action we will not allow any player movement okay so for that let's first of all close the game and let me tell you how we will achieve the ledge movement in which we will stop the player when the player reaches the ledge we can achieve this by measuring the angle between the normal vector of the ledge and the movement direction in which the player is trying to move so for example this red line is the normal vector and this blue line is the direction in which the player want to move okay and this circle is the player and this box okay I mean this square is the box and on top of the box the player is standing okay so if the player want to move in this direction the angle between the movement direction and the normal vector right here will be less than 90 and when it is less than 90 then we will not allow the player to move in this direction but if the angle between the normal vector and the movement direction is greater than 90 in this case we will allow the player to move okay so what this means it will basically prevent the player from moving forward to the ledge or you can say it will prevent the player from falling of the obstacle the player can only move in the backward direction or to the left or right okay we will only allow the player to jump if the player presses the space button okay so now let's go ahead and click on scripts then click on player controller folder let's open up the player script from the folder okay and right here right down below after this surface check let's create a new method which will be by the name of player ledge movement and inside this method we will create a float by the name of angle okay and as I told you we will be finding the angle between the ledge normal and the move direction so in here we will say ledge info dot surface hit dot normal and then at the end we will pass the movement direction okay so once we have the angle then we will say that if this angle is less than 90 okay it means that if the player is now on the ledge then as I told you we will not allow the player to move and also we will not the play we will not allow the player to rotate us okay so what we will do first of all right here at the top where we have the variable velocity okay let's remove this VAR from there and then let's move right here to the top after this movement direction let's create a vector 3 and let's name this as velocity because we will be needing to make the velocity 0 right here when the angle is less than 90 in order to stop the player from movement okay so now we will say velocity equals to vector 3 dot 0 now after this we need to make the movement direction zero as well but we can't directly make the move direction zero right here okay because it will stop the player from rotating when the player is not performing any parkour action 
so actually what we will be doing is after this movement direction we will create a serialized field it will be of type vector 3 and let's name this as required move dir or move direction then if we scroll down to the movement direction method right here we need to now apply the required movement so now instead of this variable movement direction we will say required movement direction then in here instead of this movement direction multiply by movement speed we will say velocity multiply by time dot delta time and this move dir will now be equals to required move direction now let's go ahead and make the move dir to zero so in the player ledge movement first of all right here now remove this move dir and instead of this type required move direction okay and then after this let's copy this velocity equals to vector 3.0 now the move dir will be equals to vector 3.0 now if we scroll up and right here where we say if the player is on ledge okay now right here we will pass the mo player ledge movement method and guys make sure that on the parkour control script at the end you added this input dot cut button down jump okay we added this line of code in the previous video so that whenever we press the jump button or the space button the player will then only jump from the ledge Okay, so now let's go ahead and save all of this, get back to Unity. And I think on line 79, we forgot to remove the movement direction. So let's change this to move DIR. That's it. If we get back right here and play the game. And now let's test it out. Okay. So if we climb on top of this obstacle, okay, and now let's try to jump down. As you can see, it now stopped the player from jumping down unless we press the jump button. As you can see, okay, if we try performing it again, okay, as you can see, actually it rotates the player to the other side, but we will be fixing that. Don't worry about that, but now. As you know the player is not jumping automatically so now let's try to press the space button as you can see the player is now jumping okay so with this ledge movement added now in the next video we will be stopping the player movement while performing the jump down parkour action and also we will be stopping the player walking animation when the player is on the ledge for now if you notice the player is still moving as you can see when on the ledge as you can see okay and also the player is rotating but don't worry we will be fixing that and this walking issue as well.